Right, okay. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a couple of weeks now. It, um, pitch my Van Gogh Spirit 200 Plus, also known as the Grasshopper. You saw, I don't know when I did it, a few months ago, I, um, I showed you my Banshee 200, which is on paper a two-man tent, but in reality it's a one-man tent. And even at that, one man and his kit, you have to like use your Bergen as the pillow. It's, um, it's not very generous in space, especially, like me, I want to take my boy out this year. Um, I want to take him to, you know, maybe a little further afield. You know, try and take him up the mountains a bit. Get a bit of exercise. We could both do with a bit of exercise, I'll be honest with you. So I got this, like I said, the grasshopper. It's um, it's it's two man tent with extra space. It's like having two banshees stuck back to back. I um, I've just pitched this for the first time. Didn't bother looking at the instructions. Just took it out of the bag. It, very self explanatory. All the poles are color coded as you'd expect with a high end tent. Sort of shows you what you're supposed to do. It's not a problem. If you've got even limited experience of pitching a tent, you'll have this up in 10 minutes, maybe 12. Officially, Rango say it's a, it's a 10 minute pitch. When you buy it, it actually comes already pre-clipped in, like the inner skin and the outer skin. Sometimes when you buy a tent, you'll find that you have to pitch the, the outer shell first and then get inside and stick the um well through the hole and you have to and it takes you a bit of time this they've already done it for you so you don't have to worry about all those fiddly bits i'll show you around beautiful tent um really surprised at the um at the quality i mean everything is reinforced like quadruple stitched around the pole tunnel it's it's a heavier material as well all of the webbing the strapping is like double laced um great great bit of kit okay i'm going to show you around take you inside show you some of the features right i'll put this bag down and i'll take you for a tour right bring it down a bit okay so you see we've got we've got a section up here which is the sleep section and then you have another section here which well for me and my boy it's going to be like a cooking area slash um storage area storage space now this tent has got a great um tensioning system to it I'll, um, I'll open these doors. You can see we've actually got double entry. So we've got one door on this side. You see it's, it's a very generous size considering it's, own, well, sniff less than three kilos. It's not a heavy tent um, considering the size of it. Um, I would say the, the, um, the bunker, snug pack bunker, is the same weight. Yeah, I would say this has got um, more practical space, as it were, because you've got two separate areas. Right, if I come down to here, you see that the opening strap, this, it just even that, it's just better quality than what you'd, what you'd normally get. So, I open her up, and then you see in here, you have the sleeping area, Take you in there. You can see it's a massive bay. Um, you comfortably fit two good sized adults, two of me in there, which is which is normally unusual because normally with marketing a tent, <laughs> they'll be a little bit generous with the truth. <laughs> you know, they call it a two man tent. Well. It's really a one-man tent. They call it a three-man tent. 
it's normally, you know, a two-man tent. But this, it is what it says it is. So that's nice. Right, we've got this bay in here. So you see you've got plenty of area there. Storage space. Cooking space. Now, tensioning system I was talking about. If you look up there, you see we've got two ribbons that come down to guide ropes and then that guide rope goes to a little o-ring and it fits under the bottom of the, um, the pole. This allows you to pull the slack, to pull the tension out of the, um, out of the pole, out of the dome. So in extreme weather conditions, really stormy conditions, you can pull that tight. It's here. You've also got it down, um, well, I'm sure it's in two areas. Yes, there we go. It's up there as well. And as you can see, if you're not using it, you can hide it away up in the bag. Just gives you a little bit more room to play with. So, there you go. The, um, the Spirit 200 Plus also known, like I said, as the grasshopper. The wind's picking up a bit, so hopefully you won't get that interference on the, on the film. But um, yeah, that's the guided tour. Let me just pull back a bit. You see it from this end. There we go, sorry about the wobbly camera work <laughs> get you back in there right okie dokie there we go get me back in shot right so that's it you don't need instruction on how to take it apart do you um, great bit of kit, plenty of space, me and my boy are going to enjoy that, it'll be cool. We'll take you along and um, yeah, have a bit of fun in the hills. Right, God bless, I'll catch you soon. Thanks ever so much, bye.